look at this glorious water. It's flat calm. Oh no, that's ice. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick. This is the outdoors. This is flat, smooth ice that we are going to walk on and go hard today. We have a beautiful, beautiful day in the forecast. Low winds, like zero temps type of thing. I'm excited, I'm not gonna lie. I have struck out two days in a row, sitting in some different areas. I caught one fish each day. This is my fourth day actually technically ice fishing already, and I've had one video out. I do strike out too. Sometimes I put the strikeout videos online. Sometimes if I have time to go keep fishing, fishing without having to worry about editing. I just keep fishing, try to get a better video. So yes, this is day four of the ice fishing season. I also have a confession to make. I almost never wear my own merch. By almost nev never, I mean like almost never, never. I am wearing my CSO toque today because I forgot all of my toques at home and I happen to have a couple of these in the truck. But I must say, they fit over your ears with a hat on and they are comfy. I can't believe it. I get now why they're a popular item and everybody wears them in photos and they've been a good luck charm for everybody. So hopefully they're a good luck charm for me too. Got the new otter hoodie on too. Gonna start it right, baby. We're not gonna quit until we find fish. I'm gonna drill a thousand holes if I have to. Okay, realistically, I'll probably drill 60 at the most because, well, 60 is a lot for one person, but Slay's already loaded. Checked a little bit of ice already. As you can see, the chisel standing there with one solid swing. It cannot go through. It just punctures into the ice. So let's get moving. What will today bring? I do not know. This is so crazy. It froze so clear. It never looks like there's lots of ice when it freezes this clear. But look at one. That's all. I just took a lot of ice there. Two. Three. Four, four pokes to get through. There's probably four inches of ice. When you put water on the ice, it's slippery. I also forgot my cleats like a donkey. Okay, well let's go fishing. I just wanna fish in the shallows and see fish, but I know better than that. I'll sit here all day and won't catch a fish. Let's go find the drop off, baby. Let's go find the drop off. This is so cool, it's so trippy. Okay, second spot, no marks, let's keep moving. The Hummingbird Fish Smart app is uh, nice right now, really nice. Come on, little guy, or big guy, <clears throat> come on. This is obvious stuff you have to be really, really careful around, right? Like this is a fresh heave forming right now. So this ice is breaking away. This is gonna be your weakest ice. See, it's not that weak, or it's not that good right there. Not that good, but better there. So I know I can step from there to there with ease. I could get honestly trapped and just walk around and look at all this and not even fish today. <laughs> Such a nerd. It's so cool too right now, just to even see what type of structure is on top of some of these humps to keep that in mind in the springtime because it drops off on both sides here. This side lots, this side not as much. Those walleyes will hang on the tops of this and look at, look at this. These boulders like this with this transition. Oh, this is spring money right here. Beep, waypoint. Man, I think I just want to get skates and just skate around and look at structure. This is so amazing.
there's fish found them yes okay let's go 40 feet that way hole oh, loaded with fish there okay there's some fish here so let's see if we can drop down as soon as i catch one fish i will get the rest of my camera set up but i'm going to catch one fish first i might have to go a little bit further over yet yeah, probably wasn't quite 40 feet looks like i got another 10 15 feet yet but let's see if i can bring one over here another one here comes another one yeah okay oh we've walked three miles oh i just lost him i just lost him that's okay i still gotta catch one we've walked three miles from the truck and we have finally found fish i'm not tired but my feet are a little sore i'm not gonna lie that was awesome though okay this could end up being epic because there is like this hump was loaded with fish oh here comes another one Wait till I get a dinner bell down there instead of just a rattle bait. Look out. The question is, where do I want to go? Do I want to set up further? There's so many fish up further on this hump. There's some on the edge. I think I want to go that way a bit more to that edge. I think that's probably my best bet. Got him. Got him. Okay. I've lost two. And I finally maybe hooked into one I've had have lost two that I had for a second yes okay we got a fish on the ice a perfect eater and that's what we're gonna do is keep him and now the mission starts let's get the big camera out and let's do it success we only have to walk three miles for you oh look at the mark cruising through I haven't got all my cameras set up yet but I gotta drop down real fast got him oh i knew i should have got camera set up but i had to had to drop down on that mark i did it was just looked like it was just flying through i'm gonna regret this this is gonna be big isn't it i'm gonna regret this aren't i not have any camera set up yet i don't think it's that big i don't think it's that big it's just decent but this is this is a good sign this is a really good sign awesome nice decent fish for sure well, that's a really good sign that's like a chunky 22 incher okay now this time for sure i'm getting camera set up i literally was just reorganizing here and uh saw mark cruise through drop down I'm not gonna lie i've walked over three miles today i'm gonna sit down for a bit this feels good oh I like where i am I've got a bunch of holes popped here in this little spot. I can move around a little bit if needed pretty quickly. I'm gonna leave my dead stick probably right there for the most part, but I can easily just move around here. Like I said, fairly decent, but I will be hanging out in this little area for the rest of the day. Oh, here comes fish on the left. This is such a good sign. I think I'm gonna be in a high travel route area. Ooh, nice fish. That's just one mark. I thought it was two at first. That's one mark coming charging straight in. Come on. Oh, look how fast it took off. Come back. He spooked heavy. Wow, did he ever spook? You see all the sediment he kicked up when he took off too. I must have got too close to him. I should have kept just pounding the bottom or I should have brought it up right away. I'm not sure what the best plan of attack is going to be yet. Good sign though. Here comes comes the mark. I'm gonna try bring it up a little bit to start with this time again. Instead, here it comes. Come on. Wow, it came straight in. That's what I want to see. I want to see those marks that come straight in like that. That was awesome. Straight in, streaking in. Oh, that's a nice fish. It's a nice fish. Inhaled up bait too. Amazing. Easy, 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 easy. Wow. Crushed the dinner bell like gone came straight in that's what i like to see right there oh this feels good after struggling for a few days to score now barbless hook should pop right out here there we go nothing to it 
nothing to it. Get my pliers ready for those deep ones, but a nice 24 or something like that. We're doing it, loving it. That was epic. Epic, epic, epic. I love how it just streaks in on that graph. That's so cool. Love it. Back down there. I think the nicest thing about this big 10 inch screen, I can sit five feet back, let everything record and I can still watch everything. This is so cool. I love it. I'm starting to figure out some of the settings here too for the Mega Live. I need to go through that, a little bit of the settings, how I feel about it so far. I want to talk about frostbite rods. There's just so much to talk about. It's insane. Like, I just love talking. Blah, 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 blah. Some people like to see fish catch, fish caught. Some people like to talking. I like to try to do both of it at once. It's the best part of it. It felt good to catch that fish right now after the struggle bus that I've been on. To be fair, yesterday was like crazy windy. So I went and sat in the otter all day and caught one fish. I couldn't have like been outside like I was today and filming. Everything would have froze so fast and fish would have froze. I would have caught any. And then the, I went and Carter and I did try to get out again the day after that we caught that 30 incher, but we failed that day too. Carter caught like seven, eight fish, but they were all smaller. And I caught one fish that day. And yeah, so we failed that day too. Failing happens. It's part of it. It's learning. Today I've, I must have checked, I don't know, six or seven spots where I thought I was going to hold fish. And I just kind of, oh, some marks coming on the right hand side. And I just kind of drilled and then looked at the, the Mega Live and couldn't find anything. So I just kept going and going. And all of a sudden I came to this spot. And yeah, as soon as I drilled a hole, popped down, I just saw fish everywhere. So definitely got a good feeling about this spot going forward because it's noon right now, 12 o'clock, and we just popped a couple decent fish. So fingers crossed. Ooh, that one looks bigger. That's a nicer fish. Oh yeah, here he comes charging in. Come on, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. I want the one on the right. Oh, come on. They're both decent, actually. They're both decent. I'd rather have the one on the right. Maybe we'll go over the dead stick. Got him. Got one of them anyway. I didn't get the one on the right. That's okay. This one hammered the rattle bait though, right off the bottom. Nice, 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 nice. Let's still another fish down there and get down there quick. Quick, 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 quick. I think I'm gonna drop the dinner bell though, real fast. Nice, little guy. Let's get that dinner bell down quick. It comes, it's coming back. Come on. Come on. There's another fish coming on the left too. Competition's good. Oh yeah, come on. Come on. Oh. Yeah, that's awesome. Man, I'm getting pretty addicted to the live imaging. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's so crazy to watch. To be able to decipher like two fish down there right like different marks a lot of times on your flasher it's not always easy to tell whether it's one mark or two yeah it's easy if they if they're separated but a lot of times if they're together it's obviously impossible to make out whether it's one mark or two this you just know he's gonna be my second eater of the day oh 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 oh, oh. there's a fish on the right here there's a fish on the right going on my dead stick and we can draw him over here to the spoon yeah, here he comes. Oh, look at this charge in. Holy cow, that fish just shot straight in. He was kind of underneath the dead stick. And as soon as I moved that dinner bell just a little bit, he come up and pounded it. I just brought my other rod here beside me because I was just about to talk about the difference between the Twilight and the Vanta Black. So we'll land this fish and then we'll cover that. Nice guy. Back down you go. So this is something that I wanted to talk about for a little while already. I should put my sunglasses on. The sun's coming out, but we'll, we'll do this first. The Twilight series used to be labeled the Burnt series. 
the Vanta Black series used to be labeled the Medallion series. Besides color, there's a few other changes to the rods. So a little bit of a backstory. Frostbite had their other rods, which were an amazing, the rods themselves were amazing. The actions on the rods are so good, but there's a few issues in the real seats that they wanted to change and just a few other quality control issues they were having, which they've dealt with. And they've always dealt with in the past, if somebody got a rod and there was something wrong with it, they've always taken care of that customer type of thing. Quality control with the new company is always gonna be an issue to start with. It's the companies that care though and take care of their customer or put some time in over the summer. And I shouldn't say some time in because these boys lived and breathed all this stuff. They've done an amazing job with the two rods this year. I'm happy to be fishing with them. The Twilight series and the Vanta Black series. There's obviously a pretty big pr price point between the two. The biggest reason for your price points, I'll go through that first. Everybody's like, oh, one must be fiberglass, one must be carbon. That's actually not true. The, the rods themselves between the Twilight series to the Vanta Black series, if you go smoke show to smoke show, they're both graphite. If you go say drench to the drench, they're both fiberglass. But where the price difference comes in is this one is a full core candle and it comes also with, this is um, called, um, a handle hugger right here and you can heat shrink it on there and then I put black electrical tape but it saves your cork. But like I said, a full cork handle which ends up making your rod a little bit lighter but your biggest cost reason right here are your titanium recoil guides. See that? These guides are crazy expensive. I've heard like up to like words, upwards of 15 to $25 a guide. So that's why these guides are so much more is, or sorry, this rod is so much more is because of the guides. Titanium recoil guides cost a lot more. This one right here, this one you can't do that with. You can't bend it because you'll end up just breaking it on the Twilight series. Now, are you going to break these guides? No, you're not, unless you mistreat your rods or you jam them in the rod case, that kind of stuff. I find if you fish outside a lot, the Vanta Black series is gonna be something you're gonna want because when stuff does start to ice up, you can literally flick the ice off no problem. The Vanta Black itself feels like more of like a custom made rod. Not that the Twilight series is no slouch in the park though either. You're gonna see me using the Twilight series a lot this year because you can actually change your head butt ends as well. They have different butt ends available to make them longer or shorter. So my lake trout rods, I can make a little bit longer. You can kind of swap around with that. It's a pretty neat um, product they've come up with that, that you can change out the, the butt end of the real, jaw, real seats. I'm gonna talk more in the future about all my rods, like my walleye rods, what I use type of thing in terms of setups and all that type of thing. But I wanted to cover for the most part, the difference between the Twilight series and the Vanta Black. Remember, full cork handle, real seat. So this one's a little bit lighter than this one. Recoil guides, titanium recoil guides, non-titanium recoil guides. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can I can think of. But those are your, your price point differences for sure. It's just, honestly, the Vanta Blacks are just a sleek looking rod. You throw on this black handle hugger on there, it looks deadly. I like the purple handle hugger they got too, personally, but I went with all black right now. These are Carter's favorite rods. He picked up three Vanta Blacks this year. He picked up a True Grit, a Smoke Show, and a Drench. Those are gonna be his three go-to walleye rods, and those are obviously a really good choice. That's something that I'll, I'm gonna have. I just add in the running gun there as well, because I fish outside a lot. I know they have, they have rods in stock right now, but honestly, get them while you can because usually once we start putting these videos out stuff goes quick so surprise somebody for christmas if you want to know which rod to get or have um or you want some advice you can always send me a message on instagram facebook put actually you know best off put a comment below here tell me what you're looking for a rod for and i'll kind of give you the best advice in terms of uh what rod tell me what species you're going to fish for but most importantly tell me what kind of size of baits you're going to use a lot and i'll try to help you figure out some rods but yeah love it love it i love my frostbite rods a mark coming towards my dead stick is it gonna come here went right towards my dead stick but maybe once he sees the spoon he'll come this way yeah here he comes mm, no circling on the dead stick it's a nice fish too I think keep an eye on that dead stick It's 
still rather try to draw him over here if possible. But he's right on it. He's just sniffing it. He's right on it. I feel like if I just twitched it right now, he'd eat it. He's circling on it again. Maybe he'll see the spoon. Man, he's circling on that dead stick again. I'm gonna just see if I can tap it a little bit and get him to eat it, maybe. No, oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. It's coming fast, too. Come on, come on. It's a decent fish. Come on. Come on. Where'd you go? Oh, here comes one, charging in, fast. Come on, oh, as if. Come back, here it comes, here it comes. Come and get it. Come on. Take it right down to the bottom, pound that sand up a bit. Oh, I never even got to the bottom. I was about to pound it. Got him. Nice. He's a little guy, I think. I just froze up there a little bit. Beautiful. Beautiful. He came in fast, took one kind of fake run at it, and then came back again. Yeah, I knew it wasn't anything special. Pretty good for midday, though. I'm going to try a different color palette here for a little bit. You guys let me know which one you like better. The other one was eight. The one I'm using now is 11. This is kind of nice with the bluish background. Shows up good. Everything pops quite nice, actually. This is nice. I like this. Oh, here we go. Mark charged it. Come on. Charge it straight up. Oh, you got to eat, right? You're going to eat. Yep. Yeah. There we go, finally. Oh, 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 finally. Like, I haven't caught a fish. Oh, he's coming up fast. I haven't caught a fish for, I don't know, four hours probably. I'm hoping to get a little bit of a night bite yet. There's another mark down there right now, I think. I thought I saw one. I'm hoping for a prime time night bite, but it has been a slow afternoon for me, though. Not going to lie. Like, I had that flurry when I first came here, and then it just shut off a little too small to keep he'd be borderline but we're gonna let this one go bite's been finicky the last couple times i've been out including today today is dinner bell medium size i don't know if that's focusing really well medium size dinner bell i think it's a 3 16th ounce it's tipping tipped it with a, an eyeball right now i was tipping with the minnow head for a little bit but uh switch it up to an eyeball sometimes i run a minnow head sometimes an eyeball Depends if I'm working it a little bit more aggressively in the middle of head, sometimes will fall off. I'd rather not run bait at all, to be honest, but they've just been so finicky. That one probably would have ate anything, but for the most part, it's been a, a tough bite lately. There's a mark coming on the right, straight to my dead stick, fast. Or it looked like it was fast at first. It's kind of put on the brakes a little bit. Is it gonna eat that? Nice fish, actually, it looks like. Come over here to my spoon, my friend. If you're not going to eat the dead stick, come to my spoon. Oh, I got a mark on the left here, too, and I'm stuck on the ice. Mark charging on the left. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got to keep an eye on that dead stick, too. Another mark charging on the left. Here we go. It's getting to the witching hour. Love it. It's going to happen. I can feel it. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yep. Nice. Nice. Again, not a super hard bite. Pretty finicky, but it's happening. We've got marks. We've got marks. Nice fish. Nice fish. Easy. 
Looks like a good eater. I've got fish loaded down there right now. Me, I'm going to take this guy home. Limit is four, but we're going to take home three today, I think. Okay, we're going to change this up a little bit here. They're not eating my dead stick. I'm going to get crazy here for last I'm going to drill a hole in between, move my transducer over, and then fish a rattle bait and a dinner belt at the same time. Here we go. Charging on the left. Here we go. Here we go. Coming in at a pretty good speed. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. That one looks a little bit better. Not giant, but definitely looked a little bit better. Nice. Okay, well, the fish never even got to the rattle bait. It just come right to the dinner bell. But you could tell the way it was sleeking on the bottom that it was possibly going to eat. It's a nice fish. Got another fish down there right now. Let's see if I can get him to eat the rattle bait. Oh, nice. Oh, geez, a little bit nicer than I thought, actually. A little bit nicer than I thought. Actually, no, I said it was a nice fish when I saw the mark. I just said it wasn't giant. Easy. Okay, 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 okay. Got some lots of fish down there right now, so we can get them back quick, but pounding the dinner bell. Clayton, these fish aren't pounding anything today. Oh, I love prime time, baby. I love prime time. That wasn't that bad of a fish at all, like a 21, 22 inch or something like that. Oh, here comes one streaking. Yeah. <laughs> he streaked in, he's small. I can tell it wasn't like that mark I just seen right before it, that's for sure. Yeah, nice. Okay, well the rattle bait took a turn too. The old one too, rattle bait dinner bell combo. It's always good. First walleye on the new frosty clownfish. Ate it finally. Nice. Took like three swipes at it. I did miss him once. I had him all the way up to 16 feet there. Oh, all of a sudden it's just on like Donkey Kong. Crazy. Good thing I didn't go back early. Even though I've got a long walk back, I'm glad I waited. You can never go wrong with the combination of a dinner bell and a rattle bait at the same time. So good. I'm pretty sure during that whole excitement, I was calling the tantrum just a plain rattle bait. It's the tantrum. Like totally have a brain fart here. Come on. Too much excitement. It's the frosty clownfish tantrum. What was I talking about? Too excited. Just too excited. Come back. That fish didn't want to eat anything. So while I'm doing this whole combination of the one, two, like I said, I've got a rattle bait, AKA the tantrum on here, the tantrum, tantrum 60, and then a small dinner bell on here, not small, a medium sized dinner bell on here. And on this, this hand, this rod, I'm running a smoke show. I like running the smoke show for lures that are like medium to smaller. And then I like running the true grit for lures that are medium to bigger. So like the big size dinner bell, I wouldn't run on the smoke show, I'd run it on the true grit. Same thing with like, say the smaller tantrums, I could run on the smoke show type of thing. I like, I like the two, like the combination, this being a medium light and this being a medium. It's really like, in my mind, one of the best one, two punch for a walleye combination. Come on. I got another mark down there too on the, on the right. This fish isn't that big that I just hooked. I'm gonna see if I can get a double here maybe. Come on, come on, come on. Probably should think about this. If I do get a double, how am I gonna reel them in? Not that I'm not gonna try, right? Not that I'm not gonna try. The bite is on right now. Oh, I underestimated this fish a little bit. It's not that small. It's not that big, but it's also not that small. We're lighting them up. It's been on fire right now. It feels good to have a bite like this finally on fire because it's been slower for me. Tantrum, come on, eat the tantrum. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. I apologize for the crappy lighting here too soon. I forgot my light for my camera. That guy came off, that's okay. A little bit smaller. I forgot my light or my battery for my light for the top of my camera, so. I might have some bad lighting here as it's as the sun sets. Prime time, baby. Like, 
prime time for ice fishing seems to just be magical. If I had to choose, I'd probably choose my evening prime time bite in ice fishing. But it's definitely worth to get up really early and get set up too. So I know I asked it earlier, but now that I've caught fish on both of those color palettes, number eight and number 11, which, uh, which one do you prefer? Eight was earlier in the day and 11 is now. Obviously, I want to know what's the best for the viewing pleasure. I kind of like this 11, to be honest with you. In a, a future video soon, I'll go over Mega Live settings, what I'm using and stuff. I'm really trying to fine tune everything or figure out the exact um, settings that I find to be the best and just learn more about the info before I start giving too much information about it, right? Like it's new to me, I'm still playing with it too. So I will do something on that here soon. Come on, it's coming to the tantrum. There's another fish down there too. Oh, there's fish everywhere right now. I got a hold of my smoke show horribly right now. I got my hand on the back of the butt. Okay, they're leaving their rattle bait. I can grab this dinner bell now. Oh, 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 oh. Competition. Oh, there's one coming on the right too, to the tantrum. This is on fire. I got walleyes everywhere. Holy, look at all the walleyes down there right now. This is amazing. Now I just need, I need the right one to come by. That's smaller. I do like the live imaging for fishing two rods because now you know which which bait that that fish is looking at right now that's pretty awesome man another quality fish not giant not small not huge actually it's not it's not that bad another decent one be an eater i kind of wanted to see the dinner bell oh comes another mark on the left oh this one's coming in fast <laughs> that was awesome a little bit better fish too a little bit better fish that was awesome no i think the better one the biggest one was the one on the right that looked at the tantrum for a second for sure i probably should have gave that one a little bit more time but this one was coming in pretty fast it was keyed in on the dinner bill definitely decent not giant not small but decent well, sadly, my GoPros are all, my batteries are all dead on my head camera. I can't get any of them to charge anymore. It's just too cold for it out here, I guess. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on. Good fish. Decent fish for sure. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Give me another chance. He hardly ate it and I missed him. No. Here we go. Come on. Nice, nice. Head camera is sadly dying. I don't know how this, I think it's even, I don't even know if that's in focus anymore because I don't have my light. So we'll probably wrap it up right away. But we have been crushing, it's been good. Well, as much as I wanna keep fishing because I've still got some marks, I've got no light for the camera, for the battery. I've got dead GoPros and I've got a three mile walk and it is dark. So that will wrap it up for today. Pretty soon we're gonna to start to do some overnighters and that's the fun stuff so I can fish all night. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching as always, and don't forget, get outside.